Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study the differential equations. This lecture course is consists of the three parts. Part one, we are going to study the introductions. I introduce important terms used in differential equations. And also I explained how to solve the first order differential equations and higher order differential equations using the basic method. In the part two, we concentrate on ordinary differential equations. I explain the series solution of linear equations, Laplace transform, and the systems of linear first order differential equations and plain autonomous systems. In part 3, we concentrate on partial differential equations, orthogonal functions and the Fourier series, boundary value problems in rectangular coordinate, boundary value problems in other coordinate systems, and finally, integral transforms. Once you complete this lecture courses, I think you understand how to solve the differential equations. Hopefully, everyone can finish the, this lecture course. In the part 1, I introduced the basic terms and also the fundamental method to solve the differential equations. So today, we are going to study the introductions, differential equations, initial value problems, and mathematical models. We need to define differential equations. A differential equation is an equation that contains derivatives of one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables. When one or more dependent variable with respect to one single dependent variables. We call such a differential equation ordinary differential equations. As abbreviations, we call it ODEs. I show the two equations dy over dx equal y, while y2 prime plus y equal 0. In both cases, we consider the single independent variables of x and the y is a dependent variables. In this case, we only consider the single dependent variable of y. Here, I use uh, two notations. dy dx, this is how to express the derivatives. This is Leibniz notations. Sometimes we could use a primes, so y2 primes this is equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x. If you use a Leibniz notations, y2 prime is equal to d square y over dx squares. We call it this is prime notations. When you consider the derivative with respect to times, we have another notations. For example, x dot is dot notations. This is equal to the dx dt. Sometimes one or more dependent variables with respect to two or more independent variables we need to consider. So in this case, as a independent variables, we consider x and y. And dependent is z. If the equations contains partial derivatives, it becomes partial differential equations. As abbreviations, we use a PDEs. This is a partial derivative with respect to x. Sometimes this expression can be expressed g sub x x. We call that this is subscript notations. This is how to express the partial derivatives. Then I'd like to explain the orders of the differential equations. Order of a differential equation 
is the determined by the order of the highest derivatives in the equations. So if you have a differential equation, for example, these equations, you need to find the derivatives. So in this case, we have a single derivatives. And find out the orders of the derivatives. In this case, the first orders. Order of the differential equation becomes the first order. If you have this differential equation, partial differential equation, again, you find the derivatives and the order of the derivatives. First term is the second derivatives. Second term is also the second derivatives. So highest order becomes the second. So second order differential equation. By looking for the highest derivatives, you can find the order of a differential equation. Next topic is a linearities. A differential equation is written in the following forms. This is the equations. Differential equation becomes linear when f is a linear in y, y prime, y2 primes. If you consider the product of the two functions among this, then we call that this is nonlinear. So this is a product of y and y primes. So we call that this is nonlinear. If you consider the three y primes minus four y equals zero, there is no product between the y and the y prime and the y two primes. This is a linear. Okay, linearity can be determined by looking at the product of the dependent variables. Then solutions. We find the solution y of a differential equation when y satisfies the original differential equations given by these equations. So when you consider solutions, also you need to think of an interval on which a solution and its derivatives exist. System of ordinary differential equations. So this is ordinary differential equations. We only consider single independent variables. So independent variables of the t's. But in this case, we have uh, two dependent variables, x and y. In this case, we call the system of ordinary differential equations. System means two or more equations. Next topic is the initial value problems. Problem to seek a solution of a differential equations with side conditions called the initial conditions. This problem is called an initial value problem. We consider differential equations. Initial value problems. Also, we need to take into account initial conditions as a side condition. Differential equations can be expressed like this one. N order differential equations. Ordinary differential equations. For N order differential equations, N initial conditions are required. At x equal x0, the value of y is given as a y sub 0. Derivative of y with respect to x at x equal x0 is also given y sub 1. Blah, 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 up to the n minus 1 derivative with respect to x at the point of the x equal x sub 0. Y value becomes a y sub n minus 1. Total number of the equation is n. This is n order initial value problems. Existence of a unique solutions. You might wonder if you have a solutions for the differential equations or not. Or even if you find a single solutions, you might wonder if this solution is a unique one or one of the multiple solutions. So I'd like to explain the existence of a unique solution. We consider the initial value problems. This is the first order differential equation dy over dx equal f is a function of the x and y. 
As the initial condition, because the first order differential equations, we need only the single side conditions, initial conditions. Y at the point of the x equal x sub 0, it becomes y value becomes y sub 0. A unique solution of an initial value problem can be found when the following Lipschitz condition is satisfied. Lipschitz condition is set if the f x y, this is a derivatives, is a function of x and y in the region S such that for every two points x y and x x is the same and the y bar, the y value different in the S regions. If you consider difference of the f values at the x y and the x y bar and the absolute quantities, it's always smaller than the positive constant of the n times y minus y bar. If the function of f satisfies this condition, initial value problems has a unique solution. We call it, this is Lipschitz conditions. So this is very similar to the existence of the round f with respect to y. If you find out the derivative of f with respect to y, say you could confirm the initial value problem has the unique solutions. Next topic is the mathematical models. Some physical sociological or economical phenomena are described by a mathematical model with a differential equation. So we could predict the change of the phenomena in nature or societies using the differential equations. Example is a population dynamics. The P is a dependent variables and the T is a independent variables. Growth rate of population is proportional to the population at that time. So this is growth rate. Growth rate becomes proportional to the population at that time. So K is a constant quantity, population constant. So human population growth was models using the, this equation by Thomas Marsas in 1798. So this is a good application of differential equation to the phenomena in societies. In these lectures, I'm going to explain how to build the differential equation and also how to solve the differential equations. This is the first lectures of the this differential equation lecture courses. Hope you enjoyed.